When we take a picture, make a video, and if it turns out to be good, our first approach is to keep it safe so we don't lose it. And that's where storage devices come into place. So in this video, we'll talk about storage devices and their types. So let's get into it. Storage devices are used for holding or saving data or information temporarily or permanently. There are two main types of storage devices, primary and secondary storage devices. In primary storage devices, you can temporarily store your data and as soon as you restart or shut down your computer, all of it is gone. So RAM is a type of primary storage device. However, when it comes to secondary storage devices, there are many types of it. So let's talk about them in a bit of detail. The first one is magnetic storage device. Magnetic storage devices are really common because of hard drive or hybrid hard drives. Floppy disk is or should I say was also a type of magnetic storage device but we don't use it today because of its low capacity and believe me when I say low I mean really low. But there are several other types of magnetic storage devices such as magnetic strip, super disk, tape cassette and hard drive. Another type of storage is optical disk. It uses laser and lights for writing and reading data. There are few types of them such as CD-ROM disk, Blu-ray disk or DVD disk. But flash drives have replaced them for the most part. Unless you have a gaming console, you're very less likely to use them. So we'll move towards the flash drives. Flash drives are widely used nowadays as they have replaced optical storage and now replacing magnetic storage with SSDs. These are fast storage devices and you can store a large amount of data on tiny SD card which is a type of flash memory. There are many types of flash drive that we use such as USB flash drive, M.2, NVMe, SD cards and SSDs. We'll not go into the detail of how these devices work because that could take a while. So let's move towards the last one and that is cloud storage. If we go into the history of cloud storage, it's not quite new but it hasn't been long since it started to gain popularity. In cloud storage, all of your data is stored on internet on some cloud computing model to which you have access because of some service provider. The reason for cloud storage prevalence is that any user can access their data from anywhere without having to carry any type of storage with them. And you're also very less likely to lose your data unless a hacker comes into the scene. Even then, it's not easy to access anyone's data because of high security that service provider provides you. We did not go into the working of each storage device because that could take a lot of time. However, I'll explain it in some other videos. So that is it for this video. So see you guys in the next one.